सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गेट टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल वंस अगेन आई होप यू आर आर डूइंग वेल एंड वर्किंग गुड सो गाइस इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर देर आर नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स लाइक देर इज अ प्रोसेसर इन अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर देर आर मेमोरी इन अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर देर आर नंबर ऑफ पेरीफेरल्स इन अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर देर आर डिफरेंट बसेज इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो ऑल दीज सब यूनिट्स आर वर्किंग एट अ टाइम सो एज टू कॉम सिंक्रोनाइज विद वन अनदर सो एज टू डू द ऑपरेशन ऑन अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर so now one of the very important thing when this thing is happening is the synchronization when multiple things are happening and working together so they need to be in sync with each other so that microcontroller can work properly and this thing this synchronization is done by the clock peripheral in the microcontroller so guys in this journey of a learning microcontroller technology we have started with the nxp s32k144 mcu as a reference microcontroller and in it i have first of all made a videos on its id for enabling the microcontroller and now in this peripheral we are going to explore in this video the different peripherals of the microcontroller and the first peripheral that we are going to start with is the clock peripheral of this microcontroller and the whole throughout the series now we will be covering every peripheral by peripheral understanding how to use that peripheral how to configure that peripheral and then making a small demo code on that peripheral so is to see how to use it so now without wasting time let's get started with this clock peripheral in a microcontrollers and understand it using the nxp s32k144 mcu now for using the nxp s32k144 mcu you guys can buy this electronics version to development board which is developed by me only and it is being selling at the electronics infra website so i have mentioned the link for, for buying it in the need below description link and so as to know about this valuation board and this board you can also refer the get to buy blog which i have written on this microcontroller and the board so now let's get started with the topic of our video now before starting further let us first of all understand why do we need a clock peripheral so see in a microcontroller there are number of sub units which are running there is a processor like this nxp s32 k144 it is based on arm cortex m4 processor this processor does all the operations it is like the brain of the microcontroller which do which does all the computation then there is a memory region flash memory and ram memory where our code is being uh, loaded or where are all the data instructions or data and all those are being lying on it then there are peripheral ips different peripherals like claw uh, uart i2c spi those are working in sync with the processor and the memory then there are different buses via which this communication the data is being transferred from one unit to another unit and these things so all these units need to be synchronized these need to be perform at a specific rate so that microcontroller units can know so this done this process is done by the clock peripheral another also important thing is that there are certain peripherals which need to operate at specific frequencies at higher frequencies or at lower frequencies so as to interact with the outside world sensors or modules and these frequencies are being fed to the peripherals via the clock peripheral only so it's like that the very first thing that is important in a microcontroller is a clock peripheral to enable the different peripherals to enable the different memory regions to enable the processor so to communicate with each other at certain specific frequency so that is why there is a need of clock in a microcontroller and now uh, in this nxp study to k144 mcu there are generally many number of clock sources in a microcontroller clock sources we mean in a microcontroller there can be an internal clock source okay or there can be an external clock source if we are using external clock source so we need to put some crystal oscillators on the microcontroller pins so that uh, it can give some uh, frequency to the microcontroller if we are using internal clock source so inside the microcontroller only there are internal clock sources then after the clock sources we configure which clock source to use at what frequency do we need to use there is a in a clock peripheral block called pll phase lock loop via which we can multiply we can enhance the input clock source so let's say there is an 8k 8 megahertz of clock source in a microcontroller external and we need to use the 32 megahertz of clock source for a some peripheral to communicate with the outside world so using pll uh, we can amplify our clock and that is the phase lock loop 
and then there is a main system clock okay and that is has to be configured that which clock source do we use either internal external or tll tll is also okay we can directly use clock system clock at the external oscillator we can directly use our internal oscillator or we can use clock source using the pll and on the pll also inputting via internal or external oscillator so these so that's it for now guys like the video and subscribe to the channel and do share it among your friends and press the bell icon to get notified with such videos as and when they are uploaded